What's up everybody? Good morning, I suppose. So, coming here, uh, just want to let you guys know what's going on. I mean, I, I don't really know what's going on, so, but I'll let you know, you know, as much as I know. Clearly something's different because I'm sitting here in front of a camera talking to you like this, which is not usually how I present myself and do the videos. So, I woke up this morning, I didn't have to get up early because it's you know, we've got a rain closure again. It's like we've been raining for like two weeks straight. I haven't dug, I've dug clams like twice in the past two weeks. So that's awesome. Uh, so then I wake up this morning, like 8.30, just get up, and do my usual thing. And I start working on my next video that I started writing the script for yesterday that I was excited about. And I open up my emails. And last night at 2.24 a.m., I got an email from YouTube that says, your channel is no longer eligible to monetize. Uh, I don't need to like read you the whole thing, but basically my entire channel, not just a single video. Like I remember a couple weeks ago I was complaining because they were like messing with my demonetization of a couple videos that they weren't monetized my video and I had to, um, you know, request a review of the fast video, which I should have done right away instead of waiting until after 20,000 views. But it was like individual videos they were giving me a hard time with. And then... Now I wake up and it's my, my entire channel. So I go onto my laptop. I'm like, I literally, I stepped out of bed. My cat meow, 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 wants to get fed, fed and stuff in the morning. And I look at my phone. That's the first thing I read. So now I'm like panicking, you know. Uh, like I'm, I had to like wait a while to make this video because I was literally for like two hours straight just pouring sweat. Like profusely. Like, what? what? Like, I was, I, listen. I love making these videos just as like a passion. Like it started as a hobby and then it's become like, I can't tell you, like I, I've been struggling with addiction for over 30 years and I and like even having children and stuff, like I couldn't, get, I, everything I thought that was gonna fix that didn't. And now that once I've started making these videos, it's like, that's like they've been the missing piece. And an older person that told me that uh, a long time ago was saying that you need something that's just for you and a hobby. He's like, you can't just work and be a dad and think that that's going to be enough. you got to have something that's for you. And it's like, I, I found it in making these videos. And it's something I've always wanted to do. I just never got the encouragement to do it or, or whatever. But I finally started doing it now at 40 years old. And it's like been the best thing for me. And not only that, but now it's starting to be successful. And I'm making some money off it. And with everything the way it is with life, like these people bought my building a couple of years ago. And like, that's a whole nother thing. Like I'll talk about in a second. But like, you know. The cost of living, the cost of food, cost of get yeah, everything is going through the roof, and it's just hard to make ends meet. So, I'm doing this thing that's like an awesome hobby that I enjoy so much, and it's like giving me a little bit of extra money to help make ends meet and with my kids and stuff like that. And it's like an opportunity to grow, and, and you know, it's just like it's such a blessing. And I, I think I've been treating it as such and not treating it like it's nothing more than a blessing. Like I am so grateful for all this and to all you guys that watch and subscribe view. And I take so much time out of my day to like go through the comments and respond. And I feel like I've gotten to know a lot of you guys and built relationships with you. And that's kind of why I'm making this video to let you know what's going on because, um, yeah, so they demonetize my entire channel. I am not, I'm technically no longer like a, a member of the YouTube partnership program. All my channels, all my videos are demonetized. I don't have even an option to try to monetize my videos. They don't give me really any explanation. All they say is that I've been using, let me, I took a screenshot of what they said. The, um, it's like something crazy too. And that's the thing is too, is like it's all AI like bots or something. I can't even get a person to talk to an actual person or they can't give me a specific reason. Was it a specific video or did I use, like when I first started my channel and I wasn't monetized, I used to use just I used to use copyrighted stuff like songs, music, and not play whole songs, but just for like intro and outro, and I'd use like clips from movies of audio for funny little things, and you can't do that, but I stopped doing it, I was monetized, and they monetized my channel after I'd already done that, so I thought, I don't know, I, I don't know how that would be the issue, so, but they're saying like I use, um, reused content, all my content's like 100% original. I, I write all my own scripts or if I'm talking, it's just me talking. I don't even know how to like use other people's videos. Like 
people play out clips of other people's YouTube videos, other people's content. So I don't even know how to do that. Like I'm so rough with the editing and stuff. That's why I put up like the still blurry pictures and I've just been starting to use like the canvas program that I use make my thumbnails with and now I'm trying to make the, my own visuals with those so they won't be blurry until I start working. That's another thing. I started working with this guy Gary. I've been Lynn Gary Rosario and I went to his studio and we're going to start doing stuff there. It's just the channel has been growing so fastly that all these good things are happening and then I wake up this morning and it's like the whole thing is demonetized. It's, so I have a couple options. I can reapply um, for monetization. I can, I can, first of all, I can appeal their decision. So I can make a video appealing them and saying, uh, you know, I don't think your decision was right. I think you should go, you know, look at look over your decision again. And the, then they have 14 days to decide. But if they, they if they reinforce their original decision. Then I have to wait 90 days to reapply. So that means I'll go three months without monetization and I could lose it completely. And I don't even know what the initial problem was. So if I just appeal it and it's still the same problem and lose it, then I'm kind of screwed. That's three months that I can't. So I don't know if that's the right idea because I don't even know. So I'm like trying to get in touch with people that have mo know more about the YouTube stuff to see if they can kind of help me with it or at least who to talk to if I can get any type of answers and like what was even the initial problem, you know? I don't, I don't know. I, there's so many different things going through my head that I could that I could be here something personal or someone's like making complaints against me. I don't know because I made that video kind of making fun of the uh, Sean Hicks guys. That, I don't know, you know. And then it's saying also though under the reuse content though the only thing that I think I could be doing because obviously I'm not reusing other people's content. It's all my original ideas and I'm just getting the pictures off of Google and stuff and I'm making my own pictures on uh, Canva, like putting pictures together. So it's not that. But on the reuse content on the don'ts it says. Promotion of other people's content, even if you have their permission. So does that mean like when I shout out like B. Luke from the Bounce Back podcast or Boston Street News, BSN New England, or like Bean Shooter or something like that, like that's against their guidelines because I'm trying to like give my boys from Massachusetts a shout out and we're trying to support each other and lift each other up. That's against the community guidelines of YouTube to fuck to to support each other. Like that doesn't make any sense. That's that's insane. I can't try to help my buddies out but you can have it says dues you can have um oh jeez it says something about when you're being critical where the heck is it whatever oh clips of other people's content as part of a critical review. So I can critically review people's content and talk like, like oh, look at this guy, like, blah, blah, like, and critique his stuff, but I can't say, like, go check out my boy's channel because they're, they're doing great. That's, that's insane, if that's really what it is. So my other option is that I can try to um, erase whatever content I think is the problem and reapply, and that's like a 30-day process. So if I go for the appeal, it's telling me specifically, do not erase any of your content before the appeal. Like they'll know that I'm trying to erase whatever the problem is and then appeal and say, no, you guys made the wrong decision. So this, you can't do that. So my other option is to go back and erase. And I, I don't know what the problem is, so I'll just probably erase everything. And at this point, I don't really care about making the ad revenue off my old videos or I'm sorry if you guys you know, like old videos and want to go back and rewatch them. I don't want to get rid of stuff. Like I don't have a lot of stuff saved on a hard drive. So if I erase it from my channel, it's, it's gone forever. And I put a lot of hard time and work in these videos. But like, I'm willing to do that to have like the future to keep moving forward because uh, it's just getting started for me really. You know, I'm just making connections with people to start making, uh, you know, better production editing, to do interviews and stuff. So I'm willing to like, to take that loss and just all the stuff I've done already, like fine, whatever. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but to, to make sure that my channel can stay monetized and I can have, keep moving forward. Cause basically guys like Clamon's, Clamon's dead. You know, the stocks are, there's barely any clams left. Uh, they don't want to pay us for it. The cost of living, how hard of work it is. Like I'm going to be 42 this year. Like it's just a tough living. So YouTube is just like, it started off as a hobby. Then something that's like helping me like uh, make ends meet. And now it's like looking like, man, this is my, this is like my future is to do something in this realm of, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether it's writing or things, whatever is going to come out of this, you know, but it's like, now it's, uh, I can't take <laughs> Like, I can't, like, this is, like, this is, like, my avenue to the future, I feel like, for me and my family, for my children and stuff, so it's, like, I can't, like, just 
take it like just it's it's done it's over with i can't accept that like so i need to know uh i need to know what the right choice is to make my my older daughter got me that for my christmas present isn't that cute i was like peanuts (laughs) but uh so it's just like man what a that's not a nice way to wake up in the morning so it's like it's raining out again like i've been uh rained out from digging. I've dug like two days in the past two weeks. They're raising my rent next month. I don't have my rent and it's due in a couple of days. So that stressed me out clearly. And the only way to like take my mind off of that has been to like submerge myself into the YouTube and stuff. And it's been really successful. And that's like my glimmer of hope with all this other stuff that I can't control. That's like weighing me down, bogging me down. And now they're like trying to take that away from me. But I'm not, you know, I've been through so much in my life, like, I'm not even trying to, um, like, let that get me down, you know? I, I know that there's some sort of reasonable explanation for this, or there's some sort of way um, to get a resolution that's going to be in my benefit if I just keep my head straight and just keep pushing. Like, I'm not going to give up. I, I've been through so much. I, before all this stuff happened, before I started getting my life back together, like, I had nothing. You know what I mean? I was like a straight bum. So, you know what I mean? I, I'm not, a, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, there's nowhere that it's like, only way is like up. So I'm not trying to be like, oh, it's, it's over with. I'm, I'm, I'm done. With it. No, it's like, I'm, there's going to be obstacles and hurdles that I need to overcome, like, on my journey through life. And this is just part of it, you know? Things are just tough right now. Like, I'm making all the right choices in my life. I'm making good decisions. And that's all I can really control. All this other outside stuff that's going on with like my rent and the clan prices and the YouTube and stuff. I can't control that. All I can control is like what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to stay focused. Like I have faith. I'm a person that has faith. Um, you know, there's, there's, this is just like another thing I got to overcome, like to get to the other side. I just want to let you guys know, I'm not trying to get all preachy and like corny and stuff, but I do like, I do, this stuff means a lot to me and all you guys that support me and we interact with each other on the comments of it means a lot. And all these people hit me up on Facebook and, we're really starting to like build something here and it's like I'm not trying to let it just get washed away because YouTube like wants to demonetize my whole channel with no real explanation of why. So obviously I'm not going to be pumping out videos while this is going on because I'm not going to be wasting content and, and time and I just, I'm, I got to just kind of figure out what's going on, figure out what my best I'm talking to a couple people. I'm trying not to just react and freak out like I would normally do in the past. I'm trying to just stay even keeled. I finally stopped profusely sweating, so that's a good first step. <laughs> so I make the make <laughs> get in front of the camera and not look like a straight. I don't know, like I looked insane a couple hours ago. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's a real bummer. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a it's just like a straight shot. Like somebody just did boom punched you right in the gut. You know what I mean? Like like I. I don't know. I didn't know what to think. I was like stuck when I read it. Like I remember just like I looked on the phone. Uh, my cat's meowing at me. She is right there. You want to say hi, Edie? <laughs> She's meowing at me, and uh, I'm looking at the phone. I'm just stuck, and the sweat just started pouring. <laughs> and then I click up onto my dashboard on my on my uh, on my on my uh, YouTube stu- studio thing, and it's saying uh, your channel is no longer. Uh, you know, something from, I don't know, it just was, it was, it was crazy, it was crazy, your channels, let me see here if I can bring it up, clear enough for you guys, channel, where's the, why is it so bright, channel is no longer for monetization, Channel is no longer monetizing. Your channel is no longer eligible for monetization. March 29th, 2024, 224 AM. They're making these kind of decisions at 220 AM. So while I'm sleeping, trying to get my night away, I mean, where is this happening? And somewhere in China or something like that? Or is it just an AI bot land? I don't know how any of this stuff works. But like while I'm sitting here sleeping, trying to get my like five and a half hours of sleep that I get every night uh, <laughs> to, you know, to try to recharge for the next day, these AI bots are saying, no, your, your whole channel is demonetized. It might be a real person. I don't know. I just, I, I, it's easy to blame the AI, the AI bots for everything, right? Because they don't have any feelings. Not yet, anyways. The, the, Jeff Bezos is probably working on that in the lab, how to create AI feelings. My feelings are hurt right now. <laughs> Try to laugh. Like, what are you gonna do? You gonna laugh or you gonna cry? You know, I just I use humor as a coping mechanism. But so I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm going to try to overcome and persevere. I'm going to talk to my buddy Gary. He's at work right now, so he he's, he's going to call me at lunch. Talk to him. I just messaged a couple other people. Um, you know, some people that are more experienced in YouTube. If anybody sees this and knows more about stuff or knows somebody that you can actually contact and like talk to a human being. If I could just like, it's, YouTube is like, I'm not trying to, they're like going to watch this video. The AI bot's going to watch this video like talking bad about YouTube. Uh, I'm not trying to, they don't have a lot of, as a company, they don't have a lot of transparency towards the creators that make the content for them about what the issue is. Like if they have a problem uh, with the monetization or copyright or whatever, they're not very good about being transparent about what the issue is. They're just saying, there's an issue, you know, so. I don't know. So, <clears throat> yeah. So if I could find out what the actual issue is, like if it's just for me shouting out my fellow Massachusetts content creators, which that is insane, but if that's it, I'll erase the videos that I know I did that in. If it's from my early, early videos where I used like, you know, King Vaughn's, uh, like I use like King Vaughn's instrumental for my for my intro and like an ex an exhibit song for my outro and I used to use just like little sound clips from movies. If that, I'll, I'll delete those old videos. Maybe if it's something else, you know, I just, it's hard to fix a problem if you don't know what the problem is. That was my issue with like when the uh, Operation Street Sweeper video got demonetized and the other ones, they weren't telling me what I was saying or doing to make it demonetized. I'm like, how do I fix the problem if I don't know what the problem is? So it's the same issue here is I don't know why they're saying like I'm reusing people's content. What content am I reusing? I write my own scripts or, or when I'm talking, like I'm talking here, it's coming from my brain. Nobody is like whispering in my ear telling me to do it. I don't, I don't know how to replay other people's videos. So I can't, I don't do that because I, I don't even know how to do that. And if taking free pictures off of Google is reusing other people's content, I don't understand that at all. So it's just really, really, really confusing. And it's just like all the stuff is just piled on top of one another. So that's just like, that's just a personal issue for me. Like, you know, the, the price of clams and my rent and this and that. But as long as I keep making the right, that's why I say that at the end of the video. Like, I'm not trying to be corny when I say make good decisions, make good choices. Why I, why I really, really say it, and I started saying it every video, is because after I talked to Michael Romano Sr., he was like, you got to stress to the younger people, if the younger people watch your videos, that everything in life is the choices and decisions. And... I totally agree with him 100% from my own life experience, and that's why I start saying it every video. But it's not like a corny thing just to say. To be like, oh, look at me, I'm a positive guy. Because it's, it's true. Like, the choices and decisions you make are like everything in your life. It really is. So, uh, I know if I just keep doing the right thing and keep staying positive and just keep working and stay in my own lane and make the right choices, like, it, everything will it'll work out. It might not be exactly what I want it to be, but it will. It will, it will be okay. It will. I have faith in that. So I just wanted to make this video. It's not an exciting uh, mob gang video. Uh, you know, we're, stuff you guys like. So, sorry. <laughs> but I just want to let people know what's going on because you're not going to see videos from me probably for a little while. Even if I... <clears throat> I'm, I'm leaning right now towards the deleting stuff and then reapplying. Because I'm afraid if I appeal and they don't find in my favor, then I gotta wait 90 days. That's a long time. Three months is a long time to like just go radio silent and not make videos and just, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really want that option. I don't know. The more I talk about it, the more I'm kind of anxious I get about it, thinking about everything. It's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's just like things have been going so positive like lately, like we've been growing, like meeting different people, making connections, like just getting so much positive feedback and it's just like, yeah, man, this is it. This is what I've always wanted to do. Like I'm finally doing it. Like, yeah, man. And then try to pull the rug out from under you, you know, but like I said, man, I'm resilient. I'm not going to, I'm not, this isn't going to like just, it's not like the end, you know, I'm uh, going to figure it out. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on because you guys have been part of this. Some of you guys have been part of this journey since the, like, the very first like video. Since I first started making these videos, and it was, they were really rough <laughs> and 
I, I have a hard time going back and watching those old videos now. I'm like, ooh, ooh God, especially when I used to do like the impressions and stuff like that. But some of you guys have been along for this whole ride and you've watched me grow and watched me support, like supported me through the whole thing. And like now we've had all these other people join in. And it's just like, it's just an amazing thing. It's like the best, it's really, besides having my children, um, it's like the best thing that's ever happened in my life. It's, it's, it's awesome. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not about to like just give that up just because I get some random email in the middle of the night telling me that they've, you know, that doesn't it doesn't make any sense. No. So just gonna just keep fighting and I will try to keep you guys in the loop of like what's going on. Like I'm not just gonna keep making like uploads all the time, like whining about stuff uh, and like and, like make it like a soap opera because that's I'm not dude. I hate drama. I hate soap operas. Like I hate that this is even happening right now. Like I just like smooth. I like smooth sailing, baby. I like nice calm water, <laughs> no wind. You know what I mean? No white caps. I like just I like smooth sailing and the waters are very they're very troubled around the Casa de la Trimia right now. So alright. Well uh we'll try to see what's going on. I'll talk to some people. I will make a decision about what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll like let you guys know like what's going on if I decide to do the appeal or if I uh you know, erase my videos and reapply. I mean obviously you guys will notice if all of a sudden all my videos are just like gone off my channel. But if you're like a content creator and you've been around for a while and you get word of this, or you see this video, just please hit me up and, and uh, give me some advice, uh, you know, if you have any answers or, or, you know, I don't know, advice, like I said, let me know, <laughs> please, struggling over here. All right, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, everyone, uh, try to enjoy your weekend, even though the weather's garbage out here still in Massachusetts, um, it's Easter, I love Easter, Easter's a good, one of my favorite, favorite holidays, it's a good Friday today, uh, I don't know. I'm very, I, I guess I'm a very faith, faith-based person. I have a lot of faith, so it's like I don't, I don't believe that. Like after everything I've been through and like the all like the horrible stuff I've experienced in my life, and now things are just getting good. That it's just gonna be like, psh, no, like I don't think, I don't know. That's not, that's not the stuff. I, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. All right. Well, God bless everybody. I hope everybody has a great week, great weekend, good Easter. Um, I don't know. <laughs> If you believe in stuff like that, say a little prayer for me, uh, and hopefully, like the outcome is a is a good one. I'm 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 that's what I'm keeping in my head. I'm staying positive. I'm saying that this is gonna get resolved. I'm gonna get back on track, and the channel is gonna keep growing, and it's gonna get bigger than ever. You know, so that's 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 where I'm at. All right, guys, God bless. Thank you so much for everything, for all the support. You guys, are, like the this channel's got like the best community. You guys, are so positive. People are like shocked when they come on the channel. And they see like the comments, and like they're like, wow. Like, Jeez, man, people like it's dude, it is it's, it's mind blowing like the support and how kind people are, and uh, even the trolls most of the time just make me laugh, you know. So I just I don't know. It's it's all good. It's all good, baby. It's all good, right? God bless.